I'm Stephanie with OEI. That's Outreach, Education, and Installations for the CapTel Caption Telephone. I'm Indiana's Outreach Educator, and I'm here today to help you get started with your new CapTel phone. Welcome to the CapTel family. Let's get started. In this video, I will be going through the installation and setup for the 840i as well as the 880i. Please note the only difference between these two phones is the size of the screen. In this video, you'll see a lot of the 840i, but please note that everything I share about the 840i is also applicable to the 880i. If you've received your phone, you should have a package that looks like this. It says CapTel on the outside, made in America on this side, of course. We'll go ahead and open this and see what's inside. Inside the box, we have a pack of literature and cords. When you open this flap, you'll see your CapTel phone beneath there. You want to pull that out, remove the plastic. And then underneath here is your power cord in a small white box. So don't overlook that. Power cord. Once you have everything opened and unpacked, you should have everything you see here. The power cord, the setup guide, the user guide, a silver phone cord, a black ethernet cord, and of course the CapTel phone. Next, we'll take all of this in to where we're going to set up the phone and get started. Next, we're going to set up our CapTel phone in the area we'd like to use it. So long as it's convenient for use, it would be best to install the phone near the internet equipment, connect it directly with an ethernet cord. If that is not an option, you may be able to connect your phone using Wi-Fi. We will revisit a Wi-Fi setup at the end of this video. For now, we're going to focus on a direct Ethernet connection. So we'll go ahead and get this started. In order for the CapTel to function properly, it needs three connections. Phone, Internet, and Power. So first we're going to start with phone. We're going to connect one end of our phone cord to the phone jack that's just behind this chair. Take one end of your telephone cord and plug it into the phone jack. You should feel it click. Now let's put the other end of the phone cord into the cap tail. On this end, you can see the spot for the phone labeled line one. Again, if properly inserted, you should feel it click. Next, let's connect the internet. To do that, we'll use the black ethernet cord included in the package. So to do that, we're going to connect one end of the ethernet cord to our internet equipment. Hopefully you have at least one open ethernet port on the back of your internet equipment. And you'll plug one end into the open slot. Again, with an ethernet cord, if it's inserted properly, you should feel a click. Then, we'll plug the other end of the Ethernet cord into the CapTel phone. We'll plug this into the spot labeled Ethernet. Finally, our third connection is power. Now that we have both phone and internet connections made, let's plug in the power. As you can see, the last open port is power. Once you've got your phone connected, the first thing you see after you plug in power is the language screen where you're able to select your language. Right now the blue line is on English. If we wanted Spanish, we could press down. We'll keep it on English and press yes to accept. 
Then it checks the phone line. Now it's checking the internet connection, looking for those OKs to pop up. Then it checks for updates very quickly. There was not an update available for this particular phone. If there is one for your phone, it will automatically update and then reboot once the install is complete. Next, you'll be able to select your time zone. Here it's Eastern time. Again, press yes to accept as it suggests. Then you have the option to select whether or not you observe daylight savings time. As it says, press yes or no to answer. So here we do, so we'll press yes. Then it will come up on the screen with the time and date. So long as your internet connection is good, you should see the correct time and date. Press yes. Then you'll be asked if you want to turn on the answering machine. So that's a personal choice for you. All of our phones do have a built-in answering machine and you can choose whether or not you'd like to use it. So we'll turn on the answering machine for this. So as it says, press yes to turn it on, press no to exit, so we'll press yes. Next, it's going to verify registration for your phone. If you've not yet registered it, you will see this screen. It's telling you you can go to this website here and register your phone. So I'll show you that next. If you don't have a computer, you could also call CapTel Customer Service, as it suggests here, by pressing the blue button to register your phone. In order to use your CapTel phone, you'll need to register it. To do that on your own, you'll need to go to the CapTel website listed right here on your phone. That's CapTel.com. Once you arrive, you will click Register toward the top of the screen. Once that page is loaded, fill in the fields, and then once complete, we'll click register at the bottom. Let's do that together now. This field, marked ESN, is asking for the serial number on your phone. That number you can find on the side of your box, on the bottom of your phone, on the sticker, but also on the registration screen. Once all fields are complete, click the I am not a robot checkbox. You may be asked to verify that you're not a robot with a series of pictures. Finally, the last question is who is registering? So if you are registering for yourself, mark the first. Once you've made your selection here, you will see the terms and conditions appear. It is important that you understand and accept those terms and conditions and check the box if that's the case. Once everything is complete, hit the register button. If complete, you will get a thank you notification right here on your screen and then we can go back to the phone. Now that we've completed the registration, it's time to reboot the phone or press the captions button. Now the captions button is lit up, which means that registration was successful and we can use this phone with the captions. Now that your phone is set up and registered, I wanna share with you the most important thing to remember about your phone. And that's this, it is just a phone. So just like any other phone you've ever used, when it rings, you answer it. When you're done talking on the phone, you hang it up. And when you wanna call someone, you dial their number. It really is that simple. Everything extra and special that this phone does, it does automatically. So you don't have to do anything extra or special to use it. So now this phone is ready to use. Let's make a test call. Hi. 
Hi, it's Stephanie. How are you doing? Awesome. It's good to hear your voice. I've got my new CapTel phone that I'm using. Yeah, I can read everything you say so I don't have to miss a thing. Yeah, thanks. So once a call is connected, you can adjust the audio in a couple of different ways. First, you can adjust the volume. This bar at the bottom of the phone can be adjusted up or down at any time so you can find a comfortable volume for you. This volume adjusts the audio you're hearing in the handset. You can also adjust the tone. When you press the tone button, you see that the tone option changes. So it can be low, medium, high, and then it'll go back to low. The tone alters the way that you're able to hear your caller's voice. A combination of a tone option with a comfortable volume will help you to hear as well as possible. Many of our clients report that they're able to hear better on this phone than on any other phone. As an added note for the tone control on your phone, tone does not indicate volume. Tone adjusts the frequency of your caller's voice. Many of our clients experience loss in the higher frequencies or pitches. Therefore, do well with the low or medium tone options. Next, I wanna show you how to adjust the ringer. To get there, I'm gonna show you how to navigate the menus as well. You may have noticed that the screen went black. That is normal. This is just a function of the phone to save the screen. There's nothing wrong with the phone and the phone is still on. To make the screen light back up, just press any button. So let's change that ringer. To do that, we're gonna go into options. Notice this blue line at the bottom that says, press yes for option. I always suggest to my clients that they look for this line when they need instruction. So we'll press yes to go into our options menu. To navigate this menu, we'll use the up and down arrows. You can see that blue line moving. When the blue line is on the option that we want to select, we'll press yes to select as it suggests down here. If we don't want to be in this menu, we'll press no to exit options. Let's try that again. So let's go into the options menu to adjust the ringer. So we'll press yes for options. Then to make our adjustments, we need to go to settings. Let's use the down arrow to get down to settings. Once the option we want is lit up in blue, then we'll press yes to select. Then we wanna to go to phone settings. And here you can see your ringer volume and ringer pitch options. Let's change the pitch first. So to change the ringer pitch, you're gonna go down, the blue line is highlighted on ringer pitch, press yes to select, and there you heard the medium pitch. Use the up and down arrows to scroll through the different pitch options. You'll hear the example once you select it. Many of our clients like the low option. Once the blue line is on the one that you like, press yes to accept. Then we can also adjust the volume. It's currently set on medium. You can adjust it down or up to make sure you're able to hear it. Once the blue line is on the option you prefer, press yes to accept. Now that we're done in this menu, we're gonna press no to exit. We may have to do that several times to get back through all of the menus we accessed. And now we're back home. If you have any questions about or have any difficulty with your CapTel phone, always remember we have 24 seven customer service available by the press of a button. Press this button, lift the handset as it suggests, and you'll reach a customer service representative. That phone number is also on the underside of the handset 
if that is needed. Next, we'll revisit the Wi-Fi setup for this phone. As I mentioned before, a direct Ethernet connection would be the best and most reliable option for installing your phone. Even if you have to run a very long Ethernet cord, that is the best option. However, it may not always be an option to run a cord. In a case where you're within 20 unobstructed feet from your internet equipment, Wi-Fi may be an option. When using Wi-Fi, it is important that you have excellent signal strength from your internet equipment. Make sure you're seeing at least four bars in the Wi-Fi menu on your phone. Let me show you that now. To do that, we would just plug in the phone and then the power cords, and we would leave the ethernet cord not plugged in. When it goes through initial setup, you'll stop on this screen because we did not plug in the ethernet cable, and we'll press yes for the Wi-Fi setup. Next, it's going to scan the available Wi-Fi networks. Then you select the network that you wanna to connect to. Then enter the password. As you can see, you have a few instructions down here. If you need to shift for a capital letter, press down for backspace or pound for space. So enter your password. So that was a mistake, so I'm gonna press down for backspace. The one key can be used to find any of the symbols that you might have. Once the password is entered correctly, press the yes button to accept. It will attempt to join that Wi-Fi network. Getting the correct time and date is a good sign. And then we're ready to go. So that was the Wi-Fi setup for the phone. Thanks for watching. I hope you love your new Captel phone and find that it makes connecting with others easy and more enjoyable. Again, welcome to the Captel family.